Scandinavian 528, Toronto 528. Okay, fantastic. Just in time. Hello, some pilots, and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today, we are picking up where we left off last time, and we're going to do another flight on the Batsim network. This one is aimed at the beginners again. We're going to go through the steps of preparing our flight, how we plan the flight with some brief, and how we file the flight plan on the Batsim network. We'll also be giving you guys some beginner tips and tricks to make your flying easier on the network. So tonight I thought nice and busy in the European airspace on the Batsim network being a Sunday afternoon. I was planning to fly from Amsterdam where we arrived in the previous video and uh, heading up north to Sweden where there is a Batsim event this evening. We have Sweden Sunday happening tonight. So hopefully we'll have a lot of ATC online for the arrival and a lot of traffic as well. Now, as I said, I was going to fly from uh, Amsterdam, but at the moment we only have Amsterdam ground online. So I think maybe it's a better idea if we just come over the channel here and maybe depart from Gatwick or from um, Heathrow. I see Heathrow's got a lot of traffic on the ground as well. Um, I think Heathrow's a good option. So let's go ahead and plan our flight using FlightAware. All right, so I found a nice flight to replicate. We're going to simulate this flight on the Batsim network this evening. And this is uh, Scandinavian 528. And it departed London Heathrow, two hours, six minute travel time to Stockholm, Sweden. So I'm going to write on my piece of paper here in front of me. I'm going to write SAS528, uh, Echo Golf Lima Lima to Echo Sierra Sierra Alpha. And uh, we're going to fly, I think this flight to 390. So we're going to copy their cruising altitude as well, at flight level 390. So that's the flight we're going to use. Our call sign is going to be Scandinavian 528. And this is the flight we're going to replicate this evening on the VATSIM network. So let's go and plan this flight using the SimBrief website. All right, here inside SimBrief, we click on Dispatch. A new flight. Airline is Sierra Alpha Sierra. Our flight number is going to be 528. We're going to depart from Echo Golf Lima Lima and arriving at Echo Sierra Sierra Alpha. Alternate will be selected for us. We are on A320 Neo, so on A20 November. We are flying the fly-by-wire as always, so we're going to choose our variant as fly-by-wire A32NX all versions. Over here we're going to change our cruising altitude to flight level 390. Everything else we're going to leave default for SimBrief to generate for us, so we'll use the route they give us. So let's do generate flight. Right, once flights are generated, we can go ahead and view PDF for reference a little bit later, but obviously we can also do that inside the A32NX. We can just uh, view it in the flight pad. What we need is flight plan download. We're going to get the vPilot file. We're going to download that. So we can stick that in our vPilot files uh, documents folder to upload the flight plan on the vPilot program. Alright, so with that downloaded, we're going to cut it there, we're going to go to Documents, the Pilot Files, we're going to paste it in somewhere here. These are all my previous flights, obviously I think I need to clean this up sometime, but let's just paste that in there. There we go, Echo Golf Lima Lima, Echo Sierra Sierra Alpha. We can close that up and we can scroll through our flight plan, operational flight plan if we wish. Scandinavian, A320, cost the next 10. Ground distance 852 nautical miles, average wind 283076, wind component plus 35. So we'll go through all of this once we get inside the aircraft and we are setting up the MCDU. With that done, we can jump on into the sim and set up our flight. Okay, so here we are inside the sim. Let's click on world map. Uh, let's choose our aircraft first. So it is the Flyby A320 Neo and our livery is going to be a Scandinavian livery. So let's see what I have here. There we go. We have Scandinavian Airlines. Departure is going to be Echo Golf Lima Lima, which is uh, London Heathrow. Let's zoom in and find out where we're going to depart from. I think they use Terminal 2 somewhere over here. So let's uh, select a little bit of a smaller gate. I don't want the heavy. Seems like these gates are all the big ones. So let's go gate 223. 
That should be alright. Let's change the time. I just want to fly. I don't want to fly at night, so I just want to move the time back a little bit. So we're flying in the afternoon, otherwise it's going to get dark. You're not going to be able to see much on the video. The last flight we arrived, well, we actually flew the whole flight in the dark because of the delays. And you can really see much on the video. So I'm going to change the time a little bit backwards. You can do that on Batsim. You can change the time if you want to fly during the day, but you sort of get home at night or at night during the day, vice versa. But what I advise is you keep it on live weather to make sure that the weather inside your sim is the same as the weather they're giving you in uh, Batsim. So we'll keep live weather on. We'll just move the time a little bit back. So we have gate 223. I'm just going to write that down on my piece of paper as well. Gate 223. And that's all good. Let's click on fly. Okay, so here we are inside the sim stand 223 at Ladin Heathrow. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure that we're not parked at somebody else's gate once we connect to the network. So let's go ahead and open up vPilot, connect to the network and make, somebody, make sure somebody else is not already parked at this gate. So let's bring up vPilot. Alright, so as we've got vPilot open, just let us do its thing, its loading thing, connect it to simulator, click on connect. Scandinavian 528 type code 820 November is correct click on connect and then it says connected to network let's move this out the way quickly and make sure there's no other aircraft populating in this stand all right that's good timing so there we have an aircraft that's about to park next to us there you can see all the other aircraft there's one on approach there's one taxiing to the runway so nice and busy oh we got a long we're gonna have a long delay to get out of here A lot of traffic in that network. That's good, that's why we fly on that so we have a little bit of company in the air. Right, now that we connect to that network, let's go ahead and see what ATC we have online for us. So we have London, we have Approach, we have Tower, 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 I know that's Gatwick. We have North Tower and South Tower, we have Ground, and we have Delivery, and we have ATIS. I need all of these frequencies for reference, so I'm going to write them all down on my piece of paper in the order that I'm going to require them. So I'm going to write down ATIS, 128080, then delivery, which is 121980, then ground, which is 121705, then tower, which is 118705. I assume it's the North Tower, because they are departing on runway 27 right up there, which is that one over there. But if it's the South Tower, then obviously it's going to be 118505. After Tower, it's going to be Approach 119730. And then after Approach, it's going to be London, I think it's London East, 118480. I'm just going to write that one down just in case. Okay, so with that all written there, let's go ahead and start setting up the aircraft. So we're going to jump back to the cockpit, up to the overhead panel, battery 1 and 2 on, connect the external power, bring us some lighting up here, on the emergency exit lights, what signs can we go on, we can assume that we're already fueled, Navin logo, crew supply, aiders 1, 2 and 3, fuel pumps can all go on, that's fine for now, let's come down here, put some lights on. I'll just brighten that up a little bit. The e-cam display is already nice and bright. Down here we'll put the integral lighting on. Put the flight plan on and load our SimBrief data. So import data from SimBrief. There's some serious winds the moment in uh, London and we have a temperature of zero in uh, Sweden I'm sure it's snowing there at the moment doesn't say anything yet we'll see when we get there okay so fuel let's download our fuel from Simbrief we need 6.4 tons so we can load that in there so long payload download that from Simbrief over zero fuel weight of 60.5 so let's uh, start loading the passengers in there. Let's get our operational flight plan up here. So a fuel of 
it says 6.4 and over here I had fuel oh, 6.4 that's right okay okay 6.4 tons of fuel let's head on over to the MCDU let's go ATSU AOC menu init init data request Scandinavian 528 from London Heathrow to Orlando fuel on board 6.4 is made summer routes so uh, over two hours that looks good let's go back to the MCDU menu FMGC just check our ERAC so the active nav database is 28 December to 24 January so that's current that's correct Uh, in it request, so we're going to go in it a page in it request Scandinavian 5 to 8. Alternatives Echo Sierra Kilo November, cost index of 10, cruising flight level 390. That's all correct. Flight plan we're heading from Echo Golf Lima Lima to Bravo Papa Kilo Totri Match Brain. Let's just confirm that with the flight plan over here. So, can I pop this out? Does this pop out? Yes, it does. So, if I turn it over here, it goes. Parvo, Lapra. Lager. Repra, Detso, Altok. Altok is our last waypoint before the standard terminal arrival routes. So yeah, it's given me a departure of 27 right, Brookman's Park, 7 Foxtrot departure. So we can plan for that. We will check with the ATIS if that's the correct runway. I think it is because that's where we saw all the traffic uh, lined up outside. Okay, so the flight plan looks good. Radnav, London, we're going to stick in our departure. Actually, let's plan that departure now. So we're going to go Echo Golf Lima Lima, departure, uh, 27 right. Standard Instruments departure, Brookman's Park 7 Foxtrot. Insert that. Boarding completed. If that's not what we get from eight from the ATC, then we will just uh, change it. Let's con clear this discontinuity over here. And there we have our departure. We'll brief that on Navigraph once we finish setting up the MCDU. All right, so Red Nav is done. Do the init B page. Block fuel, six point four tons. Myself, your captain, the first officer. Zero fuel weight, like sixty point six. We're that is correct according to this. Zero fuel weight, 60.6. Checks out. Truck one. Average one component is plus 35. Yeah, we're going to put in plus 35. I think that's the tailwind. That's decreasing our flight time by 7 minutes, 7 or 8, no, 6 minutes. All right, the performance page we can do because we've set our departure. So we're going to do a flaps two. The trim we're going to leave flexed. We'll just use a toga V1, 129, V rotate, 130, and V2, 134. Let's quickly listen to the ATIS so we can finish set setting up everything. And then we will get our departure. Um, from ATC. So our uh, frequency for ATIS we wrote down it is 128080. So we're going to go 128080 and I'm looking for the ATIS information letter, the QNH, the departure runway, the weather, and any other important information that they're giving us. So let's listen to that quickly. QNH 1009 a hecto passport. Acknowledge receipt of information, Victor, and advise aircraft type and series on first contact okay, with so Heathrow. Victor. 
This is Heathrow Airport Information Victor and Time 1620 Zulu. Automatic. Arrival runway 27 left. Departure runway 27 right. Transition right. level. Flight level 75. Pilots in receipt of data link clearances are reminded that they must contact delivery on 121.980 when ready for start. Data link clearances are available. Surface wind 220 degrees 21 gusting 33 knots. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Clouds broken at 2200 feet. Temperature plus 12. Dew point plus 7. QNH 1009 hecto passport. Acknowledge receipt of information Victor and advise it. Okay, so we have information Victor, QNH 1009. Departing 27 right, and we have some serious winds. Okay, so let's do a tune uh, Heathrow delivery, which is 121980. 121980. Got a feeling we're going to sit at this holding point for quite a while tonight. Two one nine eight zero. All right, so I'm going to call him up. We're going to ask for our clearance to uh, Stockholm for, to Orlando. So that's going to be our uh, who we are, where we are, what we are, and what we are. And so who we are, we are Scandinavian five to eight. What we are, we are an Airbus A three twenty Neo. Where we are, we're at stand 223, we have ATIS information, Victor, QNH 1009, and we want our IFR clearance to um, Stockholm, or Orlando, we can just say Orlando. And uh, first we're going to do a radio check, so... Heathrow Delivery, good evening, Scandinavian 528, radio check. Scandinavian 528, Reggie 5. But something I forgot to do before we call him up is I forgot to file my flight plan. I always do this. I always, always do this. So let's go ahead and go load. We go Echo Golf Lima Lima to Echo Sierra Sierra Alpha. Open that. Let's just change the departure time because we're like five minutes away from this time. So let's go ahead and make it 1700. Everything else can stay the same. And we're going to go file flight plan. See, I almost called him up without filing my flight plan, and if I'd have asked for clearance, he would have said, no flight plan. He wouldn't have been able to give us clearance. Yes, very, very good evening. Red 778, Foxtel, 751, Red 778, Foxtel, thanks. Just hold position. It's going to be about five or ten minutes delay. The, uh, it's just clearing the uh, departure backlog at the moment. So I'll call you back as soon as I can. Expect start at time five zero. All right, so yeah, as we can Pleasure. see... I thought there was going to be a bit of a delay this evening because of the busy airport. So I'm just going to give him a few minutes just to make sure that he gets that flight plan and he can check it. I think everything else is pretty much set up. Let's see this Brookman's Park 7 Fox Shop departure. So this is the departure we're looking at. It's going to be straight out 27 left and a left right turn climbing to above 4,000 below 6,000 above 5,000 below 6,000 to the Cholton NDB then heading 063 to the Brookman's Park BOR at 6,000 feet so I comply with routes and altitude restrictions of SID so our, our initial altitude restriction is going to be 6,000 feet so when we depart we're not going to climb above 6,000 feet expect start in about 7 or 8 minutes until uh, really busy at the point at the moment I'll call you straight back until um, we get clear and clearance to continue the climb above 6,000 feet as you can hear they're very busy this evening so it's always fun flying on a busy network but you must be patient you must be prepared to sit and wait for quite a while okay let's ask him for that uh, departure clearance now Delivery Scandinavian 528 uh, Airbus A320 Neo stand 223. We have information Victor QNH1009 request our IFR clearance to Orlando. 
Going 5 to 8, today cleared to Stockholm, Brookman's Park, 7 Foxtrot departure. The Squawk 1 to 5 4. Cleared Stockholm, uh, Brookman's Park, 7 Foxtrot departure, Squawk 1254, Scandinavian 528. 5 to 8, correct. Report ready to push. Alright, so it's the Brookman's Park 7 Foxtrot departure, which is the one that we did on our flight plan. So that was right, so we got uh, Brookman's Park 7 Foxtrot departure. That's all good. And our squawk is going to be 1254, so let's stick that in there. 1254. Trim, we don't need the trim. So that's pretty much everything set up for now. We're going to go ahead and just join the queue to push and start. And then we'll just have a look at the traffic outside. So I'm just going to tell him that we're ready. Delivery Scandinavian 528, we're ready to join the queue for a push and start. 2528, very good. Yeah, expect start at about seven minutes from now. I'll call you back. Copy. All right, so we're looking at about a seven minute wait. Hello, Hebrew delivery. It's about 8 minutes, Yankee. Yes, and Patrick. All right, our next frequency is going to be ground, which is 121705. So prepare that so long. 121. Yankee delivery, hello. Clear to Dublin via the Compton 705. Squawk 7537. Let's go to the overhead panel and start the APU. APU nothing on the Compton 3 Fox Rock Passes. APU Master 1, give it 3 seconds. Yankee. Start the APU. When that's started up, we'll turn on the APU bleed, we'll turn on the beacon light, etc. Let's go ahead and do a checklist. Somebody's just popped up exactly where we are parked. They need to move. What else, Charlie? I really fine. We were here first, so I would expect them to move once they realize that uh, we were already here. They've parked quite far forward, so I don't know that they can see us. There we go. He saw that he's, uh, he's loaded up on a stand that we're already on, so he will probably disconnect and load up maybe on the Before stand Charlie inside of us. That's what you can do if you are. If you log into the network and you log into a stand, somebody's already parked and they were there first, oh, there goes another one. Then you need to log off and move to a, another stand. Alright, let's do the before start checklist. Cockpit preparation is completed. Gear pins and covers have been removed. Signs are on and auto. Aders are set to nav. Fuel quantities, we have 6.4 tonnes. Take of data is set. Good forum, okay, thank you. This will be about 30 or 7 minutes delay just to, uh, just That's the uh, before start checklist down to the line. I'll call you back at time 5-5. Five five. Uh, Roger that uh, for uh, yeah, okay. Right, there's always something to do while you wait for your departure time or your taxi time. So I'm going to bring up Navigraph again. And uh, we're going to look at the parking stand. So we are here at stand 223. So we're going to push back on. 778 Foxtrot, hold position, contact ground 121. Bravo. It's going to be up Kilo or Lima. Excuse me, Lima. To one of these holding points here. So we have Pluto, Lima 2, Alpha 5. So it could be somewhere down here. Or it could be up Kilo. I'm not sure which is the route. Alright, pretty much ready for pushback, so now we're just going to wait until uh, he gives us over to ground. So we do have the APU is available, we're going to turn on the APU bleed, we can uh, disconnect the external power. Beacon lights on. Flight attendants, arm doors and cross-check. Doors are all closed. And now we wait. Good evening, 5 to 8, top position, ground 1 to 1, 7 0 5. Uh, going to ground 1 to 1, 7 0 5, Scandinavian 5 to 8, thanks Mike. Okay, there we go. So we go ground 1 to 1, 7 0 5. Heathrow ground, good evening, Scandinavian 5 to 8, stand uh, 2 2 3, you're ready to push away to start. Ground, good evening, 5 to. Eight, 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 e
start to push back. And we can start engine number two. So, mission on, starting engine number two. I'm going to turn the volume up of this guy because he's very quiet. Alright, I hope that doesn't get too loud on the video, but I can't hear the controller, so I've had to turn him up a little bit. Alright, engine 2 is starting up nicely. Grant, good evening, speed at 12, Romeo Echo, it's done 508, cross bottom start. Speedbird 4, Romeo Echo, Heathrow, hello, stand number 508, push and start is approved, face south. Good luck, approved face south, Speedbird 4, Romeo Echo. Engine number 2 is available, starting engine number 1. What I'm doing in the meantime is I'm getting my next frequency ready, which is Speedbird 778, Speedbird 778, Foxtrot, thank you. Right turn uh, onto link 55. Then left onto Bravo, hold Pluto. Right, there's engine number one starting up nicely. Alright, so there we go, Got engine number one is available. Let's see, we're at 442 Heathrow, hello, Roger, hold position. I'm going to turn on the runway turn off lights. Roger, hold position, speed up. We're going to turn the nose wheel light to taxi. Over here, we're going to set auto brake to max. Set flaps to take off flaps. Flaps, whoops. Flaps to two. Come on, what's going on? Flaps two, on the speed brake. Ignition switch can go off. Let's do a quick flight control check. Alright, full left, neutral, full right, neutral, full up, full down, rudder, full left, full right, flight control checklist completed. After start checklist, anti ice is required, it's not required, ECAM status is checked, pitch trim is set zero, rudder trim is set zero. Let's do a takeoff config test. Seatbelts are on. Seatbelt signs are on. Cabin check. We'll check that a little bit later. Let's bring up our map and see where we're going to taxi when we ask for taxi clearance. So, as I said earlier, we are here. It's probably going to be along Bravo to Kilo or Lima to Pluto, maybe. Let's uh, do a Request for taxi. Cowie ground, post map 6, Tango, Papa, stand 1-4, ready for push to start. Post round 6, Tango, Papa, Heathrow, ground, hello. Uh, stand 6, zero 8, push start, approved, face east. Face east, post map 6, Tango, Papa, thanks. Ground Scandinavian 528, ready for taxi. Scandinavian 528, thank you. Taxi Bravo, hold Titan. Uh, taxi Bravo and holding point is... Uh, uh, hold at Bravo, Yankee 1 for me. AFM Taxi Bravo, hold Bravo, Yankee 1, uh, Scandinavian 5 to 8. So where's Bravo? There's another aircraft calling. Oh there, Bravo, Yankee 1. This is what the speedboat is for. Taxi on Bravo, then up So it's for Romeo Echo, thank you. First, left onto link 55, five. left again on Bravo, straight ahead link 58, right, and so, so uh, looks, right alpha, hold up please. Please back and break. Give a little, little bit of thrust. First to left on link 55, five, then Bravo link 58 alpha, and then Pluto, uh, speed of four run here. And Hebrew, uh, hello again, Osprey 101 Bravo, taxi. Osprey 101 Bravo, thank you, Bravo, hold uh, Titan. Hold Titan, 
long time ago, I brought out of the one their own problem. Probably NQ1. So I can only assume it's this one. Shuttle 3, Papa, Heathrow yes, ground, good evening, one. welcome to Heathrow. Heathrow's finest this evening, Terminal 5, Taxi Alpha Yankee Stand, 5 to 7. What if I just said for Alpha Yankee Stand, enjoy the Shuttle 3, 5 to 8, tower now, 118, decimal 705. Tower 118705, scattered name in 528, thanks, bye. Okay, so that was Tower 118705. Take off speed, that's me, Good evening, scattered name in 528, holding at Bravi Yankee 1. Scattered name in 528, Tower, hello, past Titan, first left on Alpha 3. Past Titan, first left on Alpha 3, uh, scattered name in 528. So we're going to Alpha 3, so we're going to pass Titan, first left on Alpha 3. Okay, so we're going to Alpha 3. Speedbird 361 Alpha, contact London Control, 118 decimal 482. One one eight is more four eight two. Zero six five five. Air Canada eight five five. Contact uh, Heathrow Director one one nine eight seven three zero. One one nine eight seven three zero. Can I have your number? Nine nine seven three zero. Speedbird one seven seven six two seven right two one zero degrees one nine gust two nine knots. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Speedbird one seven seven six. Speedbird seven seven eight. Fox drop behind departing company A three twenty. Line up and from A two seven right to five alpha four behind. Behind the parking, uh, I320, line up and wait to seven right, red seven seven eight, fox stop. Standard AV at five two eight, line up and wait, runway two seven right, caution one, intersection, departure ahead. Line up and wait two seven right, so scanning AV and five two eight. Okay, so we've been cleared to line up and wait, so there's one departure ahead of us, so landing lights can go on, nose will light, taxi. This can go on, that can go on. Oops. But, uh, please prepare for so there's one departure ahead of us on the intersection. Speedbird 1776, contact Tito Director 119 decimal 730, goodbye. 119 decimal 370, Speedbird 1776, have a good one. Uh, almost 119073. 7-3, my bad, uh, not have a good night. Alright, so actually we didn't have much delays at all. Which is nice. So, good evening, Speedbird, Fold Red, I'm here, okay, holding Pluto. Okay, so we got that Speedbird departure ahead of us. Pluto, hello, straight ahead, hold on for three. frequency is 119-730. So we get that ready, always be ahead of your aircraft. Let's get a little bit of lighting going on in here, it's a bit dark. Okay. And we are ready for takeoff. So, let's do the before takeoff checklist. Flight controls check, flight instrument check, briefing confirmed, flap settings. We have flaps 2B settings done. So I'm just rushing through this. Okay, we have. 3177 8 Foxtrot. The section 2109-0810-2234. HC is set, ECAM is taken off, no blue. Right. Take off runway is confirmed, 27 right, cabin crew have been advised, TKS, TARA, engine mode selector is normal, and pack size is required. And yeah, I'm just going to turn this. There we go. We are ready for departure. Scandal Avian 5 to 8, surface in 2 1 0 degrees, 1 9 August in 2 9 knots, 2 7 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Scandal Avian 5 to 8. Right, so four four on the tree one behind the parking Scandinavian Air 320 Neo via Alpha 1, line up 27 right behind. Hit the engine spool up, let's just grab my Repeat what happened, 4931. Behind the parking Scandinavian Air 320 Neo via Alpha 1, line up 27 right behind. Oh, controls and right, line up behind. There's a man so going to the rest runway. Scandinavian 2 1 Mike Romeo, so it's been 2 1 0 degrees, 1 9 Augustine, 2 9 0 2 7 left, clear to land. There's 100. 
Airport School 1356, Victor Tower, hello, uh, continue approach 27F, number 1. Positive rate of climb, gear up. Right, follow the flight directors. Figure 442, right, just red head, hold on for 3. Hold on to the left. Scott Olivia, uh, 528, contact London 118, decimal 480, bye bye. 118480, Scott Olivia, 528. Okay, that's not the frequency I put in there, so let's put the autopilot on. So leave us, can go back to CLAM. Go flaps 1. Figure 493, 172, 100 degrees, 190, resting 200 knots, 27 right, clear for takeoff. We have takeoff, speed level 4931. 480. Yeah. I'm going to do clear to land, select air and Speed level 997, descend flight level 100. Uh, descend flight up. level 100, 99 this Speed level 997, call Heathrow 119, decimal 730. And over to Heathrow 119, 730, speed level 997. Good day. Bye. Lona, good evening, Scandinavian 528. Scandinavian 528, report your passing altitude, climb now, flight level 110. Passing altitude 4000, climb, flight level 110, Scandinavian 528. Okay, climb 110. Now we don't have but to stop uh, at that altitude. Correction, track 6641, descend to altitude 4000 feet, QNH 1007. Up into the clouds. Descend to 4000 feet, uh, QNH 1007. Golf Tango India, descend to altitude 5,000 feet, QNH 1007. Ten five thousand and QNH 1007, Golf Tango India. Scandinavian 528, climb flight level 150. Flight level 150, Scandinavian 528. Channel 6641, turn left, setting 315. Blocked. Turn left heading 315, Tannock 6641. And who else is calling? Uh, Postman 31 Victor. Postman 31 Victor, Squawk 3550. 3550, 31 Victor. Scandinavian 528, climb flight level 240. Flight level 240, Scandinavian 528. Golf Tango India, turn left heading 255. When established on localizer, runway 22, December the glide. Scandinavian 528, direct Lebbo. Direct Lebbo, Scandinavian 528. Alright, so we've got direct Lebbo. Speed at 767 Victor, descend flight level 240. Lebbo, so we've got direct Lebbo. Direct Lebbo, Ryanair 431, descend to altitude 6000 feet, QNH 1007. 6000 feet and QNH 1007. Nice, a little bit of a shortcut. Golf Tango India, speed 160 knots to 40 in each. One thing simple to four, Golf Tango India. Not much, but... Channel 6641, the set at Stansted is at 200 degrees at... 4900-7307-475, Scandinavian 528, climb flight level 390. Flight level 390, Scandinavian 528. Easy 2-0, Mike Foxtrot, monitor Unicom 122-8. Alright, there's... Unicom 122 to our final cruising flight level of 390. Lufthansa 8, Lima Alpha, descend flight level 160, level by Sabre. Scandinavian 528, monitor Unicom 122-8. Unicom 122-8, Scandinavian 528, thanks mate. Okay, so FedEx 165, monitor Unicom 122-8. 122 decimal 8, so we are out of London's airspace now, that was a little bit hectic, nice and busy, great controllers in London, always very professional, very realistic in their procedures, love flying in the London airspace. Alright, so we're currently climbing through flight level 350 for 390, and what we can do once we get to our cruising flight level, we will start planning our arrival into Stockholm. So we like to plan ahead, what we do is we're going to check the charts, first we'll see what controllers we have online. We'll check the ATIS, make sure we know what runway they're landing at so we can plan our standard terminal arrival route and uh, we'll know when to start our descent. We'll also write down all the frequencies like we did for our departure, just so we are well prepared. Then we're going to have a look at the charts, we're going to have a look at the ground charts to see where we might taxi 
once we land, etc. etc. So I'll see you guys in the cruising flight level 390. Alright, so we have reached our cruising flight level of 390. We've only been flying for 27 minutes. Still have quite a long way to go. So what we can do now, let's go ahead and study the arrival. It is a little bit early, but nothing wrong with being prepared. Alright, so if we bring up somewhere where again, you can see we are over here. We are Scandinavian 5 to 8. And we are following Speedbird 778 Foxtrot. We're both going in the same direction to Stockholm. We are not in any controlled airspace at the moment, but we are heading over here. So we have all of this controlled airspace that we're going to fly into. So first we're going to be Sweden Control, which is 132765. I'm just writing this on my paper again. And I think after that we're in this one here, which is 118405. And then it looks like we have uh, Stockholm Approach, which is going to be 126655. And then we have Tower, which is 118505. And we have the ATIS as well, which we'll listen to first, which is 119. Zero, zero, 005. So you can see you have a D ATIS, which just stands for departure, and you have A ATIS, which stands for arrival. So if we read this ATIS here on the screen, you can see we have ILS runway 26 in use, departure runway 19 right, met report wind 180 at 17 knots, visibility is okay, temperature is 1, 2 point minus 4, QNH 1006. But obviously, we'll listen to the ATIS once we get a little bit closer. What I want now is the runway ILS runway in use, which is 26. So we're going to use that information to plan our arrival. So, we are currently over here heading to Venus. We've still got it all the way to go, all the way up to here. So, Navigraph is giving me runway 26, and uh, also we have runway 26 here on the arrival. So, it's giving me an Alto 2 hotel arrival. Let's just open this chart and have a look and see what it looks like. So from Altoc to SA501 at 5,000 feet, which is initial approach fix. And then we have the arrival. So the arrival is going to be runway 26. So if I go set arrival, Alto 2 Hotel is fine. For runway 26 and I'm going to go set approach and it's going to be the ILS runway 26 do we have a RNAV Yankee we have ILS Zulu RNAV so I'm just going to go ILS Zulu RNAV 26 so I'm just going to say it's going to be the ILS 26 I'm going to add to route from it's going to be from transition is going to be final so we're going to go from SA501 to ACDAS onto the final approach course for runway 26 once we've arrived runway 26 we're going to depart the runway by turning left onto X3 X-ray 3 or X2 can't turn right so it's left to vacate the runway ok cool so that looks like that for planning purposes we could probably stick that into the MCDU at the moment. Obviously that could change from the controllers once we get a little bit closer. Let's do the destination. We're going to do arrival. ILS 26. It's going to be the Alto 2 Hotel or did I say 2 Hotel or 3 Victor? Back to Navigraph. Alto 2 Hotel. Altoc. I'll talk to hotel. Let's just look at this chart. Descent planning. Swift speed restrictions before entering the TMA. Plan descent to the highest entry level into the TMA is not expected. Is not exceeded in spite of speed restrictions. Routing I'll talk SA 19 SA 501. So all about 5,000 feet. Cool. So I'll tow to hotel. No buyer. We're going to insert that. 
let's see what that looks like on the flight plan page. So let's stick that out. Let's go down here. And we're just going to step through it. So that looks about what I planned in Navigraph. Let's zoom out a little bit. Step, step, step. So I'll talk to be above to be at 5,000 feet. So there's a flight plan discontinuity between SA501 and ECDAS. So I'm going to clear that. So we're going to go straight from SA501 to ECDAS. So SA501, we're going to be at 5,000 feet. Old constraint plus 5,000. And uh, the next one is going to be 2,500 feet. So at ECDAS, 2,500 feet. All right, that looks good. That looks good. So that plan is, is going to give us an estimate for our top of descent. Fifteen twenty nine. So we have about an hour until we reach our top of descent. Alright, welcome back everybody. We are just over an hour into our flight. As you can see here we are here, we're still following a Speedbird 778 Foxtrot. We're approaching this controlled airspace. I'm not sure if we're going to contact them or they're going to leave us to uh, until we get to uh, Sweden controlled over here. But let's wait and see once we hit this controlled airspace. Uh, we do have approximately another 160 odd nautical miles to our top of descent. We have planned the arrival, which we are expecting. Once we get a little bit closer, we'll finish setting up the MCDU for the arrival. We'll put in the weather and the minimums and all that good stuff. Right, before we start getting busy again in the controlled airspace, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of my subscribers. We have passed the 10,000 subscriber mark just recently on the channel. I'm very, very proud of that uh, milestone. So I'd like to just say thank you to each and every one of you. As always, if you find value in this video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Join us on our Discord where we have a good community going there. We help each other out with uh, all things flotsam and vatsam. Okay, so we're just going to wait until we get a message to contact the controller. I'm sure we will talk to these controllers before they hand us over to uh, Sweden Control. What I like to do is I like to page through the waypoints and have a look at the names. So we might have an idea of if they give us any direct two waypoints. We know what we might expect to hear. So we have Pilot or Pellet, Torba, Alpha Romeo, Sierra, Altoc, and then we have all those SA waypoints. Actually, not many. So I don't think we'll get many direct twos from where from where we are at the moment. If I bring up a uh, bat spy for Stockholm, these are all the departures. These are all the arrivals coming into Orlando in order of their arrival. So this guy will be there next and goes all the way down to. Oh, there's the ding we were waiting for while I'm busy talking. So if I bring up B pilot again, you can see we got a message here that says, "Please contact me on one three two seven six five." So there we go, 132, 765. 118, 4, 5, double 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 5, Control, good evening, Scandinavian 5 to 8, flight level 390 inbound depth, so... Hello, Scandinavian 5 to 8, 390 contact, uh, maintain 390. Maintain 390, Scandinavian 5 to 8. Nordic right. 456, contact just the body, 124, decimal 680. Uh, 124, 680, good for Nordic 456. Alright, so as I mentioned in the previous yeah, video, once you're in control airspace and uh, controllers, you're under their control, so they're going to give you headings and altitudes to fly. So as you heard the last instruction, he said maintain flight level 390. 
obviously if we get to our top of descent and so we haven't been given instructions to descend we can call him and tell him that we request descent remember we are flying the aircraft and they don't always know they don't always know the exact moment when you need to descend so if we reach the top of descent arrow here, this arrow pointing down, which is our marker when we need to begin our descent, we're going to call him up and we're going to say Scandinavian Clark to 8. Uh, sorry, we're going to call him up and say Scandinavian Clark to 8 to request descent and he'll give us our altitude to descend to when uh, we are ready. Or he can tell us before we reach our top of descent, he might say something like Scandinavian 5 to 8, so when ready, so descend to flight level, so and so. Sigur X axis, you want to look. 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 Alright, so let's see if we can hear the ATIS quickly. So. The ATIS is 119005. 119005. Uh, Flight level 100, sorry, this is at 598. Victor India 7, climb factor 350. Sorry, I need you to see, can you confirm climb factor 350? Okay, so you probably couldn't hear that I was trying to listen to the ATIS and stay on frequency at the same time just in case he called us up, but um, we have QNH1006, we have ILS26, we have transition level 6500 feet, information India, and we have a, a wet runway, so let's start setting up for this arrival, so we're going to go performance page, next page, next page, QNH1006, we have wind of 180 at 18. Camera 408, flight direct We have a temperature of 1. Transition altitude is 65. 408, I Minimums for this approach. Let's look at Navigraph. And the ILS 26. We have a minimums of 325. So 325. That's going to be config full. So that's that set up. Obviously, we'll update it when we get closer to the airport. I can also bring up this map and I can show you the ATIS here as well. So yeah, I'll just leave it. 105, contact tower 118, decimal 805. Ah, runway 26 in use. Departure runway 19 right. Uh, runway 100% wet, chemically treated, yeah, transition level right 65, met report wind 1808. Yeah, 105, contact Tower 1, temperature 1, 2.3, QNH 1006. Our next frequency is going to be 130900. 130900. 130900. That's going to be our next frequency. Sigur Johan Ulling and Apportera Traffic, you control the and the sun is setting so it looks like it might be dark when I arrive. I don't want to arrive in the dark so you guys can see better but I suppose I departed too late. Well, I didn't change the time far back enough. 
Max 7.6 or more, we put 7.7.8 Fox up. Standard 11, 5 to 8, report Mac number. Mark this small 782, Scandinavian 528. So, what he was asking there is for our Mark. Scandinavian 528, maintain Mark this small 77 or less. Mark this small 77 or less, Scandinavian 528. So, what he was doing was he was asking us to s our Mark number, which is like over here. Uh, speed in Mach number, which is decimal 782, and he's asked us to slow down, so we we'll slow down to 770 because that's what he's asked us to do. So, over here, you can change between speed and Mach. If you push this button over here, it says speed Mach. Oops. So I'm going to do Mach 7.7 because that's the m maximum speed he wants us to fly, obviously for spacing purposes because I'm very close to that uh, Speedbird 7.7.8 Foxtrot, this guy in front of us. So for spacing purposes he's asked me to slow down so I now Mach 7.7.0. Whistle 598 to send 2,500 feet, clear the alert approach from the 17. 2,500 feet and uh, clear the alert approach from the 17, Whistle 598. Scandinavian 2184, climb flight level 397. Climb flight level 397, request flight level 350, Scandinavian 2184. 2184, not sure where I got 390 from. <laughs> climb flight level 350. Climb flight level 350, Scandinavian 2 Contact and report to sign MAC number to Sweden Control 118.405. So it's actually 118.405 with MAC number, Sweden 778 Fox. Thanks, bye bye. Down one more because we're actually above the speed. Speed control, go Quell Rhein Air Force 397, 1600 for 4000. Runner 4397, we land radar contact, land flight level at 907. Climbing 907, Rhein Air Force 397. Runner 4392 arrive in traffic, fly heading 080. 080, Rainer 4397. Sweet control, CB82 with you. Planet 140, Niemand I. Station calling again. CB82 with you, Planet 140. VB822, wrong frequency contact, three down 118, small 405. 118487, Trump Scandinavian 528, contact report to sign Mac number to Sweden 118.405. Sweden 118.405 with Mac number uh, Scandinavian 528, thanks, bye. Bye bye. Okay, 118.405. Clamp line level 340, TV 82. Clamp 
three sixty one for you. If a three sixty one got a Celtic, you want to go through the white. Celtic, uh, one to one, this one's free. Uh, goodbye. Scandinavian four is one request in this end. Scandinavian four is one, this end is like a one one zero. This end is like a one one zero, Scandinavian four, right one. Sweden control, hello, Nordic 804, passing flight 257, climbing 290. Nordic 804, Sweden, hello, identified, class flight 290, clear L, stop, 4 tango for runway 86. Um, climb 291, say again, rest please, Nordic 804. Nordic 804, clear the manual under L, stop, 4 tango, right for runway 26. Okay, I've got runway 26 and send me the rifle via text, please, not again to 4. Sweden Control, good evening, Scandinavian 528, Moth Decimal 770. Scandinavian 528, Sweden, my damn device, clear the L stock for Tango arrival for runway 26. Yeah, I'll talk for Tango arrival, runway 26, and we are ready for descent. Uh, speak to Scandinavian 528. 7 5 to 8, flat level 1 6 0. Descent flat level 1 6 0, Scandinavian 5 to 8. So I told him we were going to get Because we are. Descent flat level 1 6 0 and ready. We're about 10 nautical miles from our top of descent, so we might as well just tell him that. Beaver 7 8. Foxtrot, when ready, descent flat level 1 6 0. So flat level 1 6 0. And he said, I'll talk for Tango around. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's not the arrival that I had. Is it 15 and flight level 250? It's ILS 26. The Tata 1 Kilo Kilo, contact Stockholm 126, support 655. For Tango arrival. 126, decimal 655 for North Carolina 1 Kilo Kilo. Insert. Nordic 85, okay, Spider. Nordic 85, contact Oslo 118875. Oslo 118875, Nordic 85, hello. Okay, so at the end 714, when ready, it sounds flight level 220. When ready, uh, flight level 224, 220 for Ethiopian 714. Ethiopian 714, we say flight level 250. Okay, so we can start our descent and let's have a look at that arrival that he's given us. Cleared L-TOC 4-Tango arrival for runway 26. Cleared L-TOC 4-Tango arrival for runway 26. Let's turn this down again. Audio, just lower this volume because they're screaming in my ears. Okay, Navigraph. Let's change this to the I'll talk for Tango Arabo. I'll talk for Tango. I'll talk for Tango Arabo. So from there to 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 Erken NDB. Alright, so doesn't look too complicated, so let's just see if we got that right. So I'll talk. I'll talk at speed, flight level 150. Good evening, sir. Ryan Air, set up the Bravo view, flight level 370. Ryan Air 2 Delta Bravo, so we don't need to leave here, that's fine. Clear that discontinuity there. And that should be good. Here we go, so I'll talk 150 all the way around 2500. But obviously, they're going to give us altitudes to fly anyway, so we'll just plan that just for in case. Alright, so we're descending to flight level 160. Flight level 150, 
ันไม่ไปเลยก็เป็นธรรมะยาเราก็ปฏิบัติกันเลยฟาร์ทูเอทจะทำตัวเองวันวันเจอร์ฟาร์ทูเอทวันวันเจอร์สแกนเดนเอเวนฟาร์ทูเอทสแกนเดนเอเวนฟาร์ทูเอทคอนแทคสตอกอมวันทูสิกซ์สตอกอมสิกซ์ฟาร์ฟาร์สตอกอมวันทูสิกซ์สิกซ์ฟาร์ฟาร์สแกนเดนเอเวนฟาร์ทูเอทขอบคุณสแกนเดนเอเวนสิกซ์สิกซ์สิกซ์คอนแทคสตอกอมสิกซ์สิกซ์สิกซ์ฟาร์ฟาร์สแกนเดนเอเวนฟาร์ทูเอทขอบคุณสแกนเดนเอเวนสิกซ์สิกซ์สิกซ์สิกซ์ So now we have approach. Contact tower. One one eight seven five zero. Contact tower. One one eight seven five zero. Approach. Good evening, Scandinavians. Five two eight. Scandinavians. Five two eight. 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 Scandinavian five two eight turn uh, uh, right, heading uh, one hundred and descend five thousand to QNH one zero zero six. Heading one hundred, descend five thousand QNH one zero zero six. Scandinavian five two eight. Local Scandinavian zero two one six. Continue climb. Heading one hundred, altitude five thousand. Approach Giant six two two four thousand seven hundred. Heading two five zero, Scandinavian five two eight. No, the gate zero four descend to altitude six thousand feet and speed two four zero. Scanner five zero zero six. Scanner six thousand feet speed two four zero knots navigation also. Scanner five zero eight speed two three zero knots. Speed two three zero scanner five zero eight. Five five turn right heading zero seven zero contact arrival one two zero decimal five call correction one two zero decimal five zero five call turn on. Left zero seven zero Scandinavian five two eight. Scanner five two eight. Left zero seven zero Scandinavian five two eight. Scanner five two eight. Turn left heading zero seven zero. Left zero seven zero Scandinavian five two eight. Scanner five two eight. Left zero seven zero Scandinavian 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 five two eight. Left zero seven zero Okay, open seven one five. Make a left turn heading. Let me see. Heading three six seven now. Left turn heading three six zero. Thank you. 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 Thank
Okay, I think it's a little bit calmer now. Let's do the approach checklist. Welcome back to 5 Don't get down on the tower. Okay, briefing is confirmed. E claim status is checked. Landing distance confirmed. Seatbelts are on. Barrier reference is 1006. Set both. Minimums we have set is. Cut down in 3 3 pound line. Descent to 2500 feet. Speed 180 knots. Descent to 5500. Speed 180 knots. Scanner 7 on the record. Speed 160 knots. Something distance 6. Approach checklist complete. Speed 160 knots. Something 6. Scanner 7 on the record. Arrival. Good evening. Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo. Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo. Rail radar contact. Descent to 4000 feet. 4000 for Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo. Qatari 33 Papa, time after in 340. Left 240, left 50 Papa. Scan in the 528, speed 180 knots. Speed 180, Scandinavian 528. So, as you can see by this approach, it's vitally important that you can control your aircraft. You can fly headings, altitudes, speeds correctly as required when instructed. Alright, speed 180, so I'm going to go ahead and set flaps 1. Speed 160 knots. Speed 160, Scandinavian 528. Speed 160. Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo, descended 2500 feet. 2500 for Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo. Approach. Scandinavian 214, contact on another tower, 118, descended 505. Lufthansa 118, 505, Scandinavian 2 for him. Hey. Qatari 33 Papa, Air 4, Hannes approach, Rami 26. Clear the Airbus 26, Sufifi Papa. Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo, Tower heading 170. Okay, 160, I'm missing. 170 for Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo. Arrival, hello, Nordic 814. Nordic 814, hello, arrival radar contact, descend to 4000 feet. Descending 4000, Nordic 814. Qatari 33 Papa, turn right, heading 315, intercept, turn left, Rami 26, right, 315, intercept. Right, 315, to intercept, uh, 50 Papa. Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo, speed 180 knots. 180 knots for Lufthansa, kilo, 1 kilo kilo. Red North 8, Nordic 804, speed 180 knots. Speed 180 knots, Nordic 804. Come on, give me a ride. Scanner 1488, now radar contact. Scanner 1588, cleared 4 and it's approach, show me 26. Clear Lilas 26, Scanner 1588. Okay, so we're clear for the Lilas, so we can do approach. Smack that right turn. Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo, right heading 200. 200 for Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo. Right, localized. Lufthansa 1 kilo kilo. 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 Right, oh, so because we clear for the ILS, we're allowed right to turn to our heading to capture the localizer and the glide slope. We don't have to maintain the last heading he gave us. We can vector ourselves to line up with the runway, which we have done. I'm going to maintain 160 for now. We're still 16 nautical miles out from the runway. Qatar 3 Papa, reduce final approach speed. Reduce final approach speed, that's 50 Papa. Scan on the final train, reduce final approach speed. Final approach speed, Scandinavian 528. Okay, let's Scan go. Scan 148, so reduce speed 18 knots. So I'm going to put the, the, the gear down. Here we're going to slip flaps 3. Lufthansa 2 kilo kilo, right heading 235, clear 4, and let's approach, show me 26. 235, enter flyer, let's approach for runway 26. Scan to 1 kilo kilo. And we're going to start with final approach speed, right heading 165. Which is 147. Uh, right, 165, not against the floor. Scan number 1488, reduce speed 180 knots, descend to 4000 feet. Yeah, apologies, our plane is making very big turns, so we're not established yet, we'll call you when we are. And she asks, ask you to take the sign to uh, maintain speed, uh, disregard, sorry. Okay, we've got some icing going down now, so ANC ICE is on. It is snowing here in uh, Stockholm. I'm well, not sure, we have 140 for final approach. Copy it, thanks. Ethiopian 715. Ethiopian 715, rail radar contact, uh, descent to 4000 feet, radio speed 180 knots. 
Again, before I was the stage, we did speed one eight zero knots. Still, because I was like, I can see one, two, three aircraft. Nordic eight zero four, turn right heading two three five. Clear LS approach, runway two six. We've been flying for two hours. Right, two three five, clear LS approach, runway two six, Nordic eight zero four. Scan one one four eight eight, descend to two thousand five hundred feet. Nordic eight zero four, reduce final approach speed. Reducing final approach speed, not a gate of hope. Scan 1488, turn left heading 270, speed 160 knots. 170 and speed 160, and then you're on 480. Scan 1528, established ILS 26 left. Scan 1528, contact on another tower, 118, decimal 505. Tower 118505, Scandinavian 528, thanks, bye. Bye. Okay. Tower, good evening, Scandinavian 528, on the ILS 26. Scandinavian 528, uh, RLA Tower, Group 12, wind 200 degrees, 1 3 knots, runway 26, continue approach number 3. Continue number 3, Scandinavian 528. Okay, so we're number 3 to land, there we just captured the glide slopes, we're going to start the descent. Everything else is pretty much set. Landing gear is down, flaps are set, cabin crew is advised. Right, landing checklist, cabin crew is advised, auto throttle is on speed, auto brake is not set, let's set auto brake to medium. You can remember landing gear. Sorry, 33 Papa, runway 26 clear to land. Landing lights on, speed brakes armed. Scanning Echo on member landing no Echo contact ground bound to one decimal seven zero five. Good evening. Next. One two one seven zero five. Scanning Echo contact. One two one seven zero five. We're going to continue the approach. I still don't see any runway. Let's turn this lights off. This crosswind is insane. That out the way. One thousand. That's where she's talking about the gate to the uh, XFC. Category three, three, Papa, contact. Uh, Orlando ground uh, one two one. Oh, yes, nine three zero. Runways in sight. One two one nine three zero. Fifty five shots. Canada five zero. Clear to land. Scandinavian five two eight. Six clear to land. Ah, blocked. Scandinavian five two eight. Runway two six clear to land. Clear to land. Scandinavian five two eight. Okay, fantastic. Just in time. We see the runway just in time. Uh, tower just to confirm, oh. one kilo kilo fully established on ILS 26. 100 above. Left answer one kilo kilo, runway 26, continue approach. Uh, wind 200 degrees, 13 knots. 200. Continue approach, scan one kilo kilo. Continue. 100. 50. 40, 30, 20, retard, 5. And we are down. Break, 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 break. Okay, 
going to slow down enough to vacate this runway on this next exit. Runway 161, we enter 200, we just want at 3 knots, runway 1 at 9 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 1, 9 to right, uh, clear for takeoff, scan the engine 161. All right, and we are down. Still on tower, hello, not a gate so far, set to stand at S26. Just pass this line here. Not a gate, zero four, all on tower, good evening. And runway 26, yeah. continue approach. And stop. Break, break, uh, lift off at 1 kilo kilo, wind 200 degrees, 1 3 knots, runway 26, clear for now. Okay, strap lights and go off. Landing lights and go off. Scanadian 528, contact the ground 121-930. One, 121930, one, Scandinavian 528, thank you. Stockholm 126, that's 1655 one, for Scandinavian 161. Okay, so flaps can go up, we just clean up the aircraft. That can go down. What else? APU is on, transponder can go off. I think we are at, where are we? Let me just check my charts. We are at X-ray 3. Ground, good evening, Scandinavian 528, clear of 26 at X-ray 3. Scandinavian 528, all under ground, good evening, welcome to Stockholm, all under taxi stand uh, 4. Stand 4, Scandinavian 528. Okay, so now I must find Stand 4. Stand 4 is X ray. So it's going to go. Scandinavian 528. Scandinavian 528. Scandinavian 528, we're going to change gate. Expect Stand 36. Stand 36 for Scandinavian 528. Okay, so Stand 36 is going to be probably further down here. Yeah. Stand 35. Good evening, Swiss uh, 954, we're on April Alpha Bravo Red Footage. Where's 36? Swiss 954, we're on the ground again. Good evening, attack on a point on the ground on the right, yes, we're Lima. Okay, cool. So let's continue taxing. It's going to be the second. Uh, first thing you need to actually replace Swiss 954. We can make our turn. Taxi lights. Scandinavian 2645, start up and push back, it's prepped. Let's see if I can line up on this. Okay, start and push up, go with the Scandinavian 645. A little bit more to the left. And stop. Okay, please cut engines. Parking brake is set. Engine cut, engine cut. Guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Vatsum video. As I said earlier, make sure that you jump onto our Discord. Join the community. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll try and best to get back to you. Enjoy flying on the Vatsum network and I hope to see you in the air soon. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.